familiar with Overwatch's play system by much. That's an interesting social engineering feat, right? Oh no, a nerd! Mad Dr. Frog. I actually draft after the bands. There's an Uther. Or a Illidan, which made me go, need ham. Oh no, need ham the Illidan. Dahaka, cool. Regeneration Bruiser for my Uther is a good idea. Oh, we do have to pick before. Zabumafu! Oh no, I don't want, I love. Oh, what was Zabumafu? It's my favorite lanky animal. It reminds me of myself. Lemur, I love lemurs. Jaina. False dad. Diva? Okay. Okay. Both, both my tanks are regeneration based, and so is my assassin, so I can absolutely Uther right now. I like Uther as a counterpick to Sonya, too, because of all the stuns to stop that whirlwind healing. Oh, that's a cute idea. This has gotten a little over cute, though, at the moment. We'll see. We'll see what happens. But yeah, it's an interesting conversation to think about what sort of engineering they can do on their end to make the game more fun. For me, I think something simple like removing the the dong that comes with a loss. It's a, it's a depressing noise. Don't depress people. Keep the sound the same, whether points are going up or down. I think that messes with people's heads and they, they tilt. They, they, they don't tilt, they don't get mad and start, you know, ruining other people's games. They just spiral and dig for wins, which isn't the best way to be playing. We won our game on Braxis with a Hanzo today. Taiga, you have been gone a while, man. Yeah. Support. It was double support meta, though, and being a good support meant that we either got a second support or we could be a good solo support. And there weren't a lot of good solo support, so that's why I ended up there. Right now, I think we're in, I think we're on track for Diamond 1. I don't think we're going to get Masters today. Redemption. Cool. We've got a great in-their-face attitude. I'm sad that Johanna and Sonya are over there, but I feel like we'll body Stukov and Falstad, even if we do get yanked around and Sonya and Johanna still live. Just kind of plow our faces into Stukov. But hey, we could get zoned out. We might get silenced. Then we can't do our business, so we'll see what happens. Also, Zeratul's got to be... Zeratul's got to be ham planet for me. Need ham ended up going Hanzo, so he can't ham. He just casts on cooldown. That's not ham. And gray main. Fair. Neat. Cool draft. I think their team is prettier, but I think ours has a great chance, too. There's lots hidden in our damage and control of the enemy. Yeah, I don't think Garrett has restarted his placements yet, honestly. Neosect? Priest. 100%. Shadow Priest, Holy Priest, Dis Priest. You can skip Dis Priest. I, I've actually played Dis Priest, so I'm dissing my own class there. But it's fine. As long as Holy is there and Shadow's there, I think we have a good, a good multi-class. And I would love that. More WoW classes. They just, they look so good. Valera is gorgeous in terms of her relationship to her roguish roots. Yeah, we've been working with Jeff Kanata. He did, he placed High Silver last season, and then we started the training with him. So I would hope he gets Diamond 5 for himself. He's been putting a lot of work into Brightwind to Haka. He's gotten really, really good for his level at a lot of those executions. And 
frankly, I'm damn impressed by how fast he's moved because I know he's put a lot of work into the game. The more you play, the more difficult it is to teach. You have a lot of muscle memory. Five, Lunch with Jeff four, is actually at 1 p.m. on Thursday two, this week. So we're not doing tomorrow. We're doing Thursday. So that'll be at 1 p.m. and then ITN will be later in the evening. So two regeneration tanks. Stun, stun, stun. Not any real stun lock. So I get to go silver touch. Mad Frog. Oh, he almost got it. Oh, do we get Grey Mane though? Hey, do we get this? Okay, well, I'll leave Dahaka to his solo biz. Oh, he's heading down. Perfect. Well, Leork's gonna spawn up here. And I'll get some stacks off of Leork. So Hanzo probably wants some attention. I gotta keep an eye on his health pool. Kind of like Kale and all of those assassins. Not as bad as Avala, but he does he does warrant some attention. What's going on down there? That is Dahaka. He's having a bit of a rough go. Saratul's going to see if he can gank the top. Okay, we've got to go cover the lane. All right, Hanzo can poke that from afar. I'm going to keep... Of the light my, my keep soaking this middle lane here. Little milk and cookies as he rides by. Rides by. <laughs> uh, ooh, that'd be nice. Choose a talent. Sweet. Do they need a touch-up? Nerd could use a little, a little something. Why not? The light is with us. Cool. Nice Thank line. You. I've got one more heal. This orb will give it to me. Let's keep Zeratul in the business. Okay. Out of mana. But Zeratul gets to keep on going. Dahaka versus Stukov. Okay, there's Sonya. All the same. I like it. It's not a great lane for him to be fighting in. Is it gathering power? Oh, no. Season Marksman. Hammer gains. Yes. My magic flows through you, the temples. Guardians. Do not let these mortals. Sarah Tool. Let's catch up to him. Usually the fights all collapse into the middle, so this is a bit of an odd scenario as we went top first. Get in sight. Do I still like Hand of Protection just to get everybody out. Okay, we actually got control of the lesser parts of that. I'm low on mana. Heal up Leoric since Dahaka has his own methods of doing so. I can dance here for a moment. I'll have a holy shock. Okay, that should be Dahaka. He's just trolling around. All right, I'll join you there, Zeri. Let's go join the Zeri fairy. Nope. Nope. Okay. For the light. Running out of mana here. Ain't got no mana. Hanzo should do camps. What's his build? No, okay. 
What is the text on this build? Upon hitting a minion or monster, Stormbolt deals 100% of its damage to enemies around its target. Hmm. That's neat. Oh, back when Tyrael was in the meta with Greymane. What was that? 2016 summer. Oh, dude. I love good doing Tyrael here. The boss steals. It's such a throw pit. So fantastic. Gosh, they're piled in that bottom. What's the orcs? Progress. Curse you. Okay, I should get out of here. He's not doing very well on that particular endeavor. A little bit of a hiccup here. Looks like they're going to get bottom camp for it. Or bottom fort. We can still get... If we can just stop them from... Yep. Yep. Let's get this camp so they don't steal it, ideally. I like it. Nice, we're waiting on the spin. Where's your spin, Sonya? There it is. Double kill. Holy shock will do the day. Yep, we're bossing. Okay, this is all true and happening. Huge! There's a gray main spike. Aha! Cleanse, you fool! That's the name of the game. I've got no mana, though. Alright, let's go! How is Zeratul doing on damage for me? He's pretty decent. Hanzo is actually top damage with his build, and it's actually reliable damage, for except for his ult in some regards, but he's actually aiming that stuff to get that damage, and that's what makes it useful. It's not random. It's not just hitting whenever it darn well pleases. They're too busy with that boss, I assume. Can we get this? We should capture this mercenary camp. Choose a talent. Did they deal with the boss? They did. We gotta go fast. My temple's power. They're pissed. They are pissed. But we kept him out of the top, actually, with that. that As silly as that is, Dahaka got top. Will they get mid and will Leork fall? I guess so. Let's check their damage types. Falstad's got all the damage. Sonya, they're spell damage based. Let's just do this to avoid the dive then. Could have given that a poke. Looks like they are all going back there. It's a full heart. There's Zeratul. Perfect time for those deaths to happen over there. Yep, I can get on that. 
Eight seconds. Anybody need anything? Nope. Everybody's good. Okay, we got a gray main in the top fighting our Dahaka. Okay, he can just hearth back. Right. Let's get some points. Falstad. Wow, gray main is much lower than I assumed he would be. Cool. Yeah, we can wait for Leo, can't we? But he's going top. Leo's clearing. Can we get something good done? Yeah, I mean that's a little. Let's do this. We should capture this mercenary. Oh, the boss is not here. Okay, in by ping. Double stack the bottom. There's the sign for the next go. I want to do that because they'll all be up with a false stat again. Wow, we're still not done with our quest because we've been sort of chasing Zeratul. Keeping everybody topped off rather than combat healed. That's why my range has felt so rough. Okay. Right. Go need some help on this. It's not a fair. Oh, okay. There we go. Yep. Yeah. Oh well. Yep. Yeah, better we all don't die. Our fort. Shame that that Zerial tool death led to it. Is he getting fancy fancy? Oh, he is fancy fancy. Yeah, it's gonna be too bad. My magic flows through the temples. Camp in the Guardians. Ugh, that's gonna it's gonna hurt a lot, but we gotta we gotta deal with the other stuff. bottom. It's not really my jurisdiction. Very wise. him going. Hmm. I don't really know what to do with Zeratul because of his alt pick. I'm not familiar with it. So he just it's all very random. But I know he's using it for mobility. Cool. We'll farm up 20. We have a way in. There's a camp in the bottom. 
Once I have res too, these early deaths won't be as tragic. get that let's try that again my guess would be that Falstead's gonna try to walk in top sleeps you thinking I about it okay otherwise. enemies of the light beware a great choose okay, there it is let's go make the magic happen Steal the camp. Fought hard. Getting drippy on everybody, I think. Silence. Uh, get me off this silence. Still have the res for future then. I am the hammer of justice. Yeah, I got res. But we're not. That's fine. That's okay. Pay attention. Shame. Okay, we gotta get in their faces. Do not let these mortals approach them. Right. The turn thing is still going. Yeah. A sound decision. Falstad, can we get that? Didn't he finish the temple? He's got a back, I guess, for health, which means he can't dig to this fight. Main has a re engage. Hanzo's got to be careful. We can still D, but. Man, why is that top got its last three on it?
Aw, GG. Oh, well, sadly, we should have pushed it there for a win, but... <laughs> Hanzo. Hanzo. But he also mistyped it, too. He mistyped it. Oh, and we have to listen to Stukov. Let's get out of here. We should have charged, and I was pinging, and I had res, but if I would have died there, then maybe they just weren't aware of my abilities. If I would have died there, I would have res with full health. They would have been motivated to finish the game, maybe, but we didn't. And, you know, we also had a Hanzo there, and well, gosh, I wish we had Void Prison. But those sort of things will happen. I guess we'll give it to Sonya for her fine performance. Let's see where we placed. Let's see what we got. What we get. What we get. What we get. Oh, snap! No way. A thousand? Are you... Oh. What? Well, we did it. We did it on place. <laughs> we, we got master. We did it. Yeah. Yeah, not too bad. <laughs> not too bad. All right. All right. I would have liked to win that game, but all right. That feels good. But does it feel good? Should we feel good about this? Should, is this, is this broken? Is my reward false? We'll find out later and celebrate now. That's what I say. Find out later and celebrate now. Oh, and welcome to all the people who were swinging by during that game there. No, I am not Ferguson. Yeah, in fact, when I had Dung Train on, or uh, not Dung Train, when I had, uh, hang on a sec, I'm completely blanking. Oh my god. Oh my god, why can't I remember the caster's name? I know it's been a while since HCC. Who is? That I am completely blanking on his name. Ah, co-host of Gilly. You guys know who I'm talking about, right? Dread. Dread. Thank you. When I had Dread on my show, when Dread came on ITN, he was like, he, before he said he would come on, he said, "You're not Ferguson, are you? That Tehran domain, are you?" And I said, "No, I'm not." And he said, "Thank God, I wouldn't have come on your show," but he did, and that's a fantastic episode. You should check it out. It was in like one, the 150s, I think. But then again, the information's pretty outdated at this point. Cool. So, for my own sake, we got to do some things. Because we're master. We're masters 100, 1,000. That's insane. We're, we're insane. We're, we're in the league with pro players. That's nuts. That's nuts. And we put a lot of work in to get here. A lot of grinding last season. Uther feels good, but we lost that one. I didn't have my main... I didn't have that gray main Vala, so Zeratul and I didn't click with all his ins and outs. Got some cool... I mean, we used the Divine Shield, at least. So, that is a big upgrade to our previous play. But Artanis really suffers. I don't think Artanis... I don't think Artanis is what we need. And I'm going to open some loot boxes here to celebrate. Alebeard donated a bunch that I would like to look at. This was our Hanzo comps from the weekend. Luckily, Blackheart's Bay is not a part of this anymore. I think I think we need Stitches. I think Stitches is a better Artanis right now. Greymane feels fantastic. Stukov's a good off pick, but I need a tank. Really badly. So we've got Uther as my main late show. Greymane as my early show. I think we should get Stitches online for a main tank. That or Muradin, maybe, but I don't like Muradin thematically. I love Diablo. I love a new Barak, but drafting an early pick or even late pick forward momentum isn't the best idea. We could get good at Varian, but Varian's got some early game problems, and I don't like how disgruntled people can get if early game Varian games go poorly. You gotta get to 10 before you have all your power. So we got a good Stuku evolution from here. What did we play today? It was Regar. So we can keep on the Regar train. What happens if I lose Greymane? What happens if I have to tank? Those are the big questions right now. If I can stay in this kind of area, support and Greymane, I'm very happy. But we got to find that. Tychus did okay. Tychus did okay. But we're going to have to find more options. Because Tychus has some mobility and 
frontline issues that we gotta be careful about. He'll get he'll get bodied by double well, he has troubles against double support and he has some troubles against double tank if they have too many too many CCs. So what do we what do we even place? Six. What? So six four is what I did last what with the previous placements, and I got diamond one with three hundred points to go. We lost our first two. In this go, we won our first two. So that's that's the difference. That's great. <laughs> thank you for the congratulations. And thank you to Disco Legend. Five months in a row. Good to see you, man. Thanks for stopping by. Just just turn off the stream. We're done. Yeah. We got to... We did. It's a lot of... It's really a delight. We do need to have Gillyweed on the show real bad. I have a problem with ITN guests. I don't want to buy... I, they, the time I'm thinking about having guests the most is during esports popular times. And I sit there and I go, but they're busy. I don't want to bother them. And every time I ask one of them to come on the show, they're they're flattered. They've known about the show. They wondered why I didn't ask earlier. We got to have Gillyweed on the show at some point. It's going to happen. Let's do these regular ones first. If I'm digging for something, it's probably a cookie mount. Oh. Hmm. Yeah, we'll just accept these guys. I want to get that 15,000 built up for the next go. Yeah, I think Stitches is great. And there's so many situations where that multi-gorge... Like, what about that game? Stealing a boss with multi-gorge. It happens all the time on Blackheart's Bay. See, that's where things... Yeah, Daniel, th that's where things get a little wrong, right? Like, what is rank if I can outrank a pro player during their, you know, during a time where they maybe got unlucky, they lost some games, they went on a spree, maybe they just were having fun. But that ain't right, right? I mean, I we put a lot of work into learning this game here, doing all we can to get better, but still, they're the pros. So how do we... How do we divide them off into their own playground with, without giving them three-hour queues? They got to take us in because we got to fill out the queues and we're the more populated area. I already crafted all the, the Christmas stuff. All the Christmases. All right. These are the ones worth re-rolling. Rare chest. What, you can get a dorm championship, didn't you? Aren't those special? Hey, that's a good looking skin. Oh, snap. The battle will begin soon. Ooh. Let the battle begin. Mm -hmm. Hero slain. Hero of the storm. Mm -hmm. Victory. The battle will begin okay. soon. Okay, yeah, yeah, we need to make some changes right now. First of all, we got Ladies' Night Uther. Let's give that a Ladies' Night voiceover. Hanzo in my ears. Also, we should probably... I still love this because it's the picnic. Gotta have my picnic. What banner would I do with Picnic Uther? Oh no, we have to placement again maybe? We'll see what happens. That's why I'm accepting it at the level I am, right? We'll see what happens. Yeah, sorry about that. That This is a custom exploit screen. It's just a ton of photos that I have dropped onto a single frame and I'm able to move around, use for my lessons, and really helps me visualize rosters, particularly when it comes to map picks. So, very useful little screen. Worth taking the time. And it's true, right? The pros are playing the casual version of the game coming into our game so they expect a little bit of weirdness i think it is with the previous momentum we had because we went we were diamond we were masters previous last christmas then we had a rough go of it ended up in diamond for two seasons placing in diamond four had a rough, rough placement there, lost my first four games, and ended up going, I think I, I went 
four six there too, but it was four on the front, six on the back end, and they placed me in plat two. So last season, we became support mains here on the channel and went all the way from plat two to diamond one. So if we're talking about momentum, and if that's what affects games, then by winning our first two placements, then we should be on track for a correct placement. However, the first two being weighted, that's kind of weird. With 6-4, I would have, if they would have left me where I was previous season, I would have made it to Masters with normal games. So it's all messy, right? And and why why should I... There's no... That's the, that's the tough thing about it. Like, how am I supposed to... I can't gloat. I'm not going to go out there. We're Masters. We're Masters. I'm excited. You know, it feels great. We put a lot of work into this game. We got better. Not good. We got better, you know? Keep working on it. But that's to say that I deserve this and someone else deserves because they got unlucky in their first two games to go all the way from gold to silver. Like, that hurts. That hurts a lot. And while I had a really great time grinding through platinum, it was, you know, low diamond. It was awesome. We mained Lunara for that bit. And then we hit diamond, which was double support town three months ago. So, yeah, we should do a Christmas banner. That's true. We should do a Christmas banner. But, yeah. So, it's it's a weird... It's a weird thing. The mountain? Interesting, Rat Bear. I feel you there. It's tough. You got to get all these people to play this game. It wasn't in. I did my first two games yesterday, and I believe they turned it off Friday there. Mirklo. Oh, sorry for the weird pronunciation, but that's what I got. Eight of... Oh, okay. Well, well, go get asked, J4. That, that's broken. That is 100% broken. Awesome that you beat him, though. I mean, did, did you learn a lot? Like, that's that's the weird thing. Because what I want to... I want to be in the best league. I just want to be with people who are also trying hard at this game, you know? Yeah, so you were expecting to lose naturally, but you probably did weird stuff that they didn't even understand. Like, lots of things happen. Look at... Look at those stream games when the placements were kind of borked there, right? Yeah. So when you... When you fight... like, And that was the magic about Warcraft 3 Dota, was that there was no MMR. So you constantly got to learn new things because you were always facing complete unknowns. Here, when I roll into lane, I have an assumption, based on my league, how people are going to play. So I absolutely understand how you beat them, right? <laughs> let's open some more oh well i want to dress up my ariel too even though i sorry to ariel mains out there i know i just was awful to you we need a new outfit what what is this called this is called actually i don't know what we call it gold and black oh gold and black that's a chocolate chocolate Maybe that's not how you spell it. Either way, we're rolling with it. And chocolate would like a cookie? Yeah, I haven't unlocked a cookie yet. Back to loot. Yeah, yeah, so we've been hitting those. Chocolate rain! Because you rain in heels. Yes! Yes. This is a rare box, and Shrike's kind of neat. Yes! Chocolate rain. So we should get a cloud for it. We should get a cloud for that. 
noxious pack leader. What makes it nostalgic? I guess because it's a doodle? I'm going to reroll. I don't need the hakas. I got a robo to haka. The yellow one. One day stint pack. Sweet. Let's... Wait, hang on. Wait, can't I? I can do the trick, right? Is this st It still works, right? Where I log out right now and the box hasn't popped because I didn't accept it and this will still be my box. So I can save this stim pack for another day. Ooh. A Mark Twain quote. The best swordsman in the world doesn't need to fear the second best swordsman in the world. No, the person for him to be afraid of is some ignorant antagonist who has never had a sword. Oh, 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 chat's moving in his hand before. He doesn't do the thing he ought to do. And so the expert isn't prepared for him. He does the thing he ought not to do and often is catching the expert out and ends him on the spot. Like Geralt of Rivia. Yeah, a lowly farmhand. Well said, well said. Kael'thas is a blast, man. You gotta love Kael'thas. 24 hour stream with Stimpak. <laughs> well, oh, technically it's 5 o'clock, so I can't accept this because we'll still have it for tomorrow's stream. We should, we should probably keep going. I, I, I want to open these loot boxes. We should probably keep, keep the ball rolling. Ooh, Saddle Battle Beast. That's not Christmassy, though. I'm digging for a cookie. Give me a cookie. Hmm. These new banners are real pretty. Some of them old alliance banners. Need some sprucing up. What? Why? Why do you want me to have this so bad? Oh my god. What is, what is soul cracker? Oh! Soul, because it's a nutcracker. I get it. I get it. I think that's fair, Rackham. I think that's a great way to think about it. Mess with their heads a bit. Maybe that's why I win games of free-to-play Hearthstone, right? Because everyone expects this leak deck and they get a Cthune deck from a year ago and they're like, I don't... How do I... How do I beat this? I don't remember this. Never re-roll except your fate. What's my Uther build, Frosty? My Uther build is holy shock all the time. Ooh, ooh. How dear, huh? Again, I think Nubrak is in a great place, particularly with Malthiel running about. This red one is badass, though. We got Frostbro. What is this? Ooh. Ooh, I like the yellow eyes. Yeah, we'll do some Zerg. We need some... I love these... The pylons are so much better. These things are a bit too wiggly. But we can give him kind of a... Green or blue? By the way, here, I'll hit you with my Uther build. We were looking at Hotslogs earlier. Only against, like, ETC, Kel'Thuzad, and... More and more stuns do I ever do Garden of Ancient Kings. You have to hit the heal during the stun. So I normally skip it. Silver Touch gives me range, gives me five mana. Holy Shock. I love Holy Shock. Holy Shock is the best thing in the game. Holy Shock is the best thing in the game. Cleanse is the best thing in the game too. So is Divine Shield. That's the best thing in the game. Uh, Blessed Champion if I'm getting auto attack. Or Spell Shield if I'm taking spell damage. Benediction almost every time unless I'm rolling double support with like an Ana or something that needs more heals. And then into redemption every time. <laughs> Alright, we we're gonna put on our blue outfit. We're gonna make a real pretty there's a nice little stylized one in here. There he is. A Nubrak doesn't have an announcer kit, does it? He totally, he totally does, huh? Well, Zerg, oh, Zerg, 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 Starcraft. Oh, I still don't have Abathur. All right, we'll do Alarak for that, which means we have Alarak for the Zerg Russian, 
Prospero should have... Oh, Arthas? No, no. Me That's outdated. Servant. There we go. Right, and I agree with that, Rackham, 100%, because your Divine Storm is going to be controllable by you, and hitting that sweet Divine Shield probably won't cause a re-engage, probably won't be on a committed character, right? What you can do, though, is what Fibble here is saying, perhaps, and that's shielding the opening damage if you're solo support Uther, so you don't have to heal off all that damage in the end. Yeah, yeah, so there is a way you could get away with using Divine Shield in lower leagues, but it's not going to be the best. Oh uh, yeah, go for it, go. Go ahead and post your link, man. I will verify it on my end if that is doable. What is that even a stocking of? Is that their boot? Do they have crystals? I guess the crystals are the gifts, like the bombs. Is that what a zealot foot is shaped like? No, it, it's shaped like, and it's got like the double cleft back thing. There you go, man. I'm just trusting that. That's my beam, if it's not real. Stealth, thank you for the biddies, the holiday cheer. Them trees look good in my chat. If Divine Shield was a 30 second cooldown, that'd be the best. But get rid of cleanse. That's the only possibly way you, way you could ever make that fair. Don't get both. Thanks, man. Yeah, no, everybody should join the A-Move channel. We got a lot of cool people hanging out here. This is where I pull myself for quick match. It's so easy to get bad quick matchers, tilters, and A-Move players all listen to the shows and know the basics. And they may not, they may be bronze, they may be silver, but they understand what a rotation is. They understand what the basics are. So predictable. Hmm. I still want a cookie. I want that rotten cookie for my Nazebo. What is that? Braxis? Why? Why is that? Oh, because the pad? Is that the pad elevated in the air? It's not what I would say Braxis looks like. Here we go. That could be a cookie. Epic. <laughs> Star Chariot. Look at this. Wow. All right, I'll take it. No choice, but we'll take it. When is Uther the best pick? When you have one of these carry assassins like Greymane Uther, who you can... Uh, Malfield... Uh, Malfield, Vala, Greymane, Genji, Sword. ETC is a good one, too, because you're going to do some mosh pit stuff. Uh, Sonya's not bad, because any anybody who self-heals is a good Divine Shield target, like Sonya, Illidan... Because they'll heal underneath it, so you don't have to keep healing them while they dodge the damage. Those are all good choices. Tracer. Tracer's a good one, too. Yeah, it's not easy to do. And cleanse is often a guess. You know, it's not... Garrett's heart... Garrett's heartstone is what I read. Well, you know... Who could say no to that? Even though we're digging for a cookie. The box may... Oh. What's it gonna be? Legendary. Sweet. Sweet. Oh. How is it both rainbow and... Orange? Oh, right. He's... Special. Oh, it's a horse. What the heck? All right. Sweet ballin'. That's going on Genji. And probably others as I think of them. Who's got good orange outfits? Yeah, it, that's why you gotta avoid the early picks, like Drink and Run saying here. You will get completely overwhelmed by the damage of something like Gul'dan, Lunara... Epic. Those are the big ones. Those are honestly the big ones. Uh, giant killers can be a little rough if you're having to take Epic. care of two tanks. Oh god, it's a duplicate too. Don't tell Scott. We're digging for cookies. Keep digging. Hmm? 
Wait, what? Oh, no, no, not, not the spray. No, no, I'm talking about mount. The mount, right? The mount? Oh. Okay. Cool. Okay. So, whew. Oh. My heart. But we're good. That's, that's cute. Probius, you can make that at home. And some of these things are just rare. Queen of Blades. Got it. Took me a moment. Zul Jin cookie. That's cute. Five left. <laughs> that Lunar is so creepy. I mean, it's endearing, right? But it, the red, I think it's the red eyes. I think the red eyes kind of sell around. 20 shards. Nope. Keep going. Not a bad number of shards, though. Didn't we just see that Sonya skin? Is that is that the the official Sonya skin that I need to learn to play Sonya with? Like I've said before, every time I play Sonya on the stream, I feel like I'm driving somebody else's hot rod, and you're all like, "Oh no, no 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 no!" You don't. Oh, oh, and I'm just grinding the gears, and I'm like, "What? What's wrong? How do I get it in a drive?" No. Epic. Another one. Oh man, we're burning gold. I hope the other, the next hero sucks. Whatever they release, I hope it sucks. What the crap? Huh. Pickles worth got creepy. Oh, that's kind of cute. Oh, huh. All right, well, we'll stop it there. Three more to go. Dude, that's awesome. Unlocking gifts in my chat. That's awesome. Innkeeper announcer. Good idea. I like that. They, I think they're rare. They're only 100 or something like that. So these blues could have them for me. It's a good town, but no one will join you. What what map are you taking Merc Lord on, though? We are talking about on this last... Ooh. Scourge Rush? What happened to the Scourge? Why is it all bandaged? Who rushed the Scourge Rush? What does that even mean? Like when you rush Scourges and Brood War? Hey! Hey, I'll take it. Seasonal mouthfeel. With the red, with the red things. Yeah, Nerubian, yeah. Scourge Rush, oh, Zerg Rush Scourge, yeah, Scourge. You got it, man. Good call, Lamb. Yeah, exactly. Epic. Ah, yeah. Oh, yeah. All right, we got one more to go. But if there's not, ooh, if there's not a cookie in here, we're going to put Nazebo on the special snowflake. Eh. Legendary. I like Cassie a lot. Just haven't put any work into her. No, you're a spe We're all special snowflakes now. <laughs> I'm happily. That's why I actually had to move away from Nazebo during that time period where I was saying we were bouncing around with Diamond 4 or 5 there for a while. I was doing a lot of Nazebo and my the whole Merc camp rotations changed when Dial or uh, Dehaka got buffed and that was just awful. So I was a special snowflake during that time, taking camps at bad times, always being like, "Team, why are you taking it?" But I wasn't. I wasn't having an impact either. Xmas, we need magical, right? No, magical. There we go. Oh, that's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Just need a cookie announcer. That's the way we're gonna do it. To craft a cookie, it's true, and he's a cookie man. So we got we got quite a few shards. Oh, hmm. Have you guys seen the solid gold Leoric? It's so expensive, but I don't think it's. I don't think it's a holiday item, so it should go down in price in a few weeks. I need to play more Leoric. And look at this. Look at that. This disturbance it's beautiful. Be 
Put that on. Put that on one of those golden treasure mounts. Oh my god. Or the robo horse that's gold. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Alright. They all got bites in them. Yeah. Yeah, this isn't going to go down in price because it's a holiday item. There we go. Nazebo's got himself a rotten cookie. I guess it'd be magical cookie. There we go. All right, who gets special snowflake then? Jaina. Jaina. Jaina's got to get dressed up for her big night out. Oh, okay. So this is like just Jane. <laughs> oh, plain Jane. I don't think I have. I don't think we have the Christmas outfit, actually. But we'll put her on a snowflake. The most Christmassy. This is probably the bluest thing I have. That's kind of cool, though. With a little oddly gray. Nice black lipstick, Jaina. Oh, well, I mean, that, now we just need to do... Hot Topic Jaina. Hot Topic Jaina. Not a motorcycle. What would Hot Topic kids wear? A ride. That's the most emo mount. Not a treasure. Maybe their parents' treasure goblin. Star. Eyeball. Chariot. That'd be Little Princess. Right? It's cheap. Yeah, just no big deal. 2,400. No big deal. I mean, I probably will craft it once it's out full after two weeks. You got it in the loot box, Lord Schaefer. Nice. Congratulations. iPad. iPad's a good one. I think that's pretty emo, yeah. If we still use that phrase, I think it handles what we're talking about. Heart. Ooh, maybe Uther should end up on a heart. Sweet. Well, I'll continue my dress up at another time.